Hello, Jules, and welcome to the very first silent auction box. Here are the rules. Please pay attention. Number one, this will be a silent auction. You must comment on the box and put a bid in for the item in this video only. The person with the highest bid will win the box. You must pay the shipping for this box as well as the price that you do bid. The video will only be up for a certain amount of hours. I will then turn off the comments from the video, which means the items have been sold. The box will have a starting bid. You must bid higher than the starting bid or the box will be marked as unsold. You must pay through friends and family in PayPal only. You must pay within 24 hours of notification of winning the box or your item will be forfeited and you will not get the box. No exceptions. Once items have been confirmed paid in PayPal, your item will then be shipped within the week. If I see a same bid, you must bid higher than the previous. If you win an item and don't want to pay, you will lose your privilege to bid on the next box. Also, I am not responsible for international exchange rates, so you must pay that, including the uh, shipping rate and your uh, auction item. I am not responsible for international exchange rates. Now, if you win, I will notify you either through uh, Facebook or uh, email. I will send a notification out through the video stating who has won the item and you must contact me in an email. My email is emilywelda1982 at gmail.com. That's E-M-I-L-Y-W-E-L-D-A-1982, the at symbol, G-M-A-I-L dot C-O-M. That is my email and it is also my PayPal email that you must pay through. Alright, without further ado, let's get into this box. This box is a medium flat rate box, chock full of goodies. As you can see, it is a medium flat rate, flat rate box. And first item in is your journal that you will be journaling in. It is empty. You must put your signatures in. It is sturdy. And it's about maybe two inches in, uh, in width. Let me see. Let's see. Oh, my ruler's been seen better days, hasn't it? Yeah, it's about two inches in width on the spine. So you have uh, room enough for good two signatures in this journal. This is a fabric covered journal. Very plain, but it is a fabric covered journal. Your next item, you will have a pack of fabric scraps. And in this pack, you will receive a piece of lace. It's a silver, very pretty silver lace. You will receive a piece of brown lace. You have some blue with flowers. It's a very thin strip. Probably a good three to four inches wide. You receive a piece of really pretty, I'm not even sure what type of print that is, but that's a really pretty print. A very small piece. A really pretty piece of material here. Real shiny, has texture. I don't know about you, but I do love my feels. It's very shiny. You also get a pattern piece.
a square. About the size of my hand. Another pretty blue piece. Checkered pattern. You also get another small strip of the blue. Great for tags, ATCs, uh, tag, uh, tag puller adders, I guess. I don't know what you call them. You also get another small piece of the, the pattern. And you get a piece of a real pretty flowered piece here. And a small piece of this right here. Two small strips. Very similar to the blue. This is just in pink. All right, now that's all for the fabric uh, pack. All right, you also get a ribbon and trim bag full all kinds of goodies here. I'm not going to pull them all out, but I'm just going to show you some of the real pretty. So you get a piece of real pretty lacy trim. I'm guessing some eyelash trim. I think that's what it's called, eyelash trim. Real pretty purple and, well, an ombre of pretty purples. And you get some silver um, cotton covered or cotton silver covered uh, not sure exactly what it is but it'd be great for binding your book got some gold and green ribbon some gold and uh, red And it's a color shift, so if you can see, it shifts to red to gold. And you also get some wide, uh, wired ribbon. It's about maybe two inches wide. Some cherries, or no, those are apples, I'm sorry. <clears throat> thought they were cherries. Whoops. You've got some crinkled green ribbon. Your pretty emerald color, two inch wide. It's non-wired. You've got some, looks almost like fishnet. I'm, I don't know exactly what type of uh, ribbon this is, but it's uh, gray and it has silver laced into it. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Yeah, there it is. Got a piece of that. Also got some real pretty uh, lace here, two different types, but the Well, I thought I wasn't going to pull it all out. I guess I am. I lied to you guys. And then a real purple, uh, real pretty uh, periwinkle purple with a silver um, pattern on top of it. I have a, uh, some real thin maroon ribbon here. Some green with pattern on it. And I have some sheer purple and some sheer blue with a little bit of metallic inside. And then we have some roping. It's gold. It's kind of a, um, what you call it? Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I got it in Happy Mail and thought I would share. I also have some eyelet lace. You have about almost, almost two yards of the eyelet lace. This can be tea dyed, it can be coffee stain, it could be anything, anything that you want. Also have a piece of this real pretty uh, ribbon here. Trim, some real pretty 
design on it. It's got all kinds of goodies. Also have some vanilla looking ribbon here. It's got design on it. If I can get it to to come up. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. There. And we have all kinds of goodies here. We have some eyelash trim, some greens and purples and blues. We have some cotton, um, cotton baker's twine. You can use this to make tags. You can use this to even put your signatures in your book. You got quite a bit of that. You've got some black flashy eyelash trim. And you have some, uh, it's not suede, but it's a cord that you can use. Alright, and that is all for the ribbon and trim. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm sorry. I lied. <laughs> Again. And so you have a little piece of lace trim here. A small piece. Okay, alright. Now that's it. All right, and I am giving you a little pouch of my famous paper beads. You can make embellishments with these. You can make a tassel with these. These are some of my newest ones. So you're lucky to get a small pack of these. All right, and you have an, uh, an embellishment bag just chock full. This is the bling bag. Butterfly, and you have a, an applique. You have all kinds of goodies. I'm just going to pour these out because there is so much in here that you can play with. Look at all that blingity bling. And these are actually hot glue that I put into my forms, and they are there are a set of angel wings, and you have a swan. You can paint these. You have a piece of, I don't know if that's considered trim, lace, applique. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know what, what you can consider that, but you got a piece of that. You got all kinds of goodies. You got hearts of red, silver, and pink. You got flat back bling of all different colors. You got two different color purples there. And you've got some stick them down um, pink. Got some silver bling. Got some green bling, gold bling, all the colors of the rainbow. And I even added in because that was sitting around, so I'll give you a small strip of the another strip of the purple. You've got some iridescent pearls and everybody knows how I am about my pearls. It's iridescent. And you've also got some regular pearls. String of that. Let me put this in here before I lose it. And I've also got some vintage buttons inside. Added you a few of those. We've got some little wooden pieces here that you can use. sewing machine and little butterfly some wooden pieces and we have some real pretty flowers some wired flowers I thought that would be very pretty with your journal you can use them as embellishments and you've got all kinds of little bitty things here uh -oh. One of the little bitty pearls are getting loose, and you've got some little bling there. And you've got some little uh, iridescent flutterbys, as I call them, or butterflies. I can pick them up. And 
and you've got some gold um, sequins in here. Here's your other buttons, and I just lost one of the, the pearls, this, the, the loose pearls. You've got some loose pearls in here. Another little thing that you can put on your piece here, a little button, I think. I'm not exactly sure. More vintage buttons here for you of all sizes. You've also got two uh, metal pieces here. I can get them turned around. Got two metal pieces. Little flowers. And you've got some flat back raised rhinestone looking things. If I can get it. They're little flat backs. Great for uh, flower centers. All right, and that is it for the bling bag. Scoop this in here. everything back in there is the problem. Alright. We have other embellishment bag. I'm not going to pull all this out. But you have a lot of stuff to play up your tags. Um, embellishments and things like that. Got some of the Tim Holtz people. You've got a uh, a frame, a, chip, a chipboard frame. This should have went in the bling, but I put it in here. So you've got some flat back pearls. You have got some looks like fishnet, but I believe that's that stuff that you can get at Halloween. The netting. You've got some feathers. Some uh, cardstock butterflies. Got cute little tiny buttons. There's a few in there. And these are flowers that you can make your own. These are Prima flowers. These white ones that you can paint. You can uh, you can spray. And these are not Prima flowers. These are flowers that I gessoed up and made to look very pretty. You've got a few more in the bag there. And you have a little butterfly that you can stick on. I've just taken it off the wire. But here are all the other little doodads and things that are in here for you. That you can play with. I'm not going to take all that out because I don't want to spill it. Alright, so that is the end of the second embellishment bag. Here's the goodies. These are vintage. This is vintage. A vintage pack. Alright, now what you get in this pack is a vintage boil needle holder. This right here is a ticket stub. Uh, oh, to the amphitheater. Um, it is actually a true ticket. This dates back to 1965. If I can get it to focus. Focus. Come on. 
and it is not going to do it for me. But this dates back to 1965. This is a little flip book of the National Park, the 10 Natural Color Views. And it's got the, in Montana, cute little picture book. Great for ATCs, guys. I don't think you see these much. So this is a trip to Montana. All right, and you get it's it's an old IOU. It's an old IOU uh, paper. This is an old receipt to Rainbow Bridge, Niagara Falls. These are true things. These are real. And this one is an old uh, card holder. I guess it's where they, um, it's an old credit card receipt. Old school credit card receipt. And this one is a uh, ticket, that I guess, that you put into your window. Uh, this is for the National Park Yellowstone Grand uh, Teton, Teton National Parks. This is real, guys. <laughs> it says date of issue July 20th of 65. So, all right, and this one is another old receipt from where they paid. You get two and one on this one. And there's uh, uh, some old, um, they came out of an old notebook that they had. This one is an old fabric receipt. No music receipt here. And this one is an old punch ticket from the Colonial um, Colonial Williamsburg ticket of admission, and this dates back to June 23rd, 1966. And then you have some bags. I really like these. I only had one of each of these, so I thought I would share these with you. A union bag what that is. But this I thought was really neat because all the real pretty designs on it. Alright, this is an uh, old napkin from New Orleans, Louisiana from a little donut and coffee shop that they had. It's been through the it's been through the ringer, but it is old. It's got the oldness to it. This one is from an old uh, old restaurant. Um, called Pat O'Brien's. This is actually a uh, coaster they sat on. It's from uh, New Orleans and you also get a napkin to go with your coaster. This is the an invitation to, enter, to entertainment at the Roosevelt, the Blue Room. It's even got everything in there. Look how cool that is. And it says, now starring in the blue room, Dennis Day. It's an Irish, he was the in, inimitable Irish tenor. It even gives you the schedule. It's really cool. And then I'm guessing this is an old punch card. Um, it's really cool. It's an old, uh, not exactly sure what that is. It's an old punch card, I guess. But look how neat that is. But that is it. Oh, no. I, I, I lied. I only had one of these, so I figured I'd uh, put this in here. This is an old traveler's handbook. It's really neat. Helpful things for your travel. Tips for your travelers. Itinerary. Money back guarantee. Look at that. Check. Nope. 
And you got a little note section here and then part for your addresses. Time conversions. Converting foreign currencies. I'm pretty sure that's not right now. But, um, yeah, it's got a foreign rate. Converting foreign measurements and weights. European clothing sizes. Wow, guys, this is really cool. I hadn't had a chance to look at it until just now. I mean, this is really neat. And the international highway signs. But, yeah, that's a little traveler's handbook. And all these are vintage, so you get that. Let me get it back in the pack. Watch me have to put each one in separately. Let's see. The next thing in the box. This thing's full, guys. This thing's full. And this is your small paper pack. Small paper embellishment type thing. All right. In this pack, you get a hand crocheted doily. You get a uh, one of my sh uh, shaving cream art. Uh, um, coffee filters. Just random strips of paper, like pattern paper. Cute little embellishments. Wishing you a beautiful day. Cute little note card, a note piece of paper. Some washi tape on a ta on a little uh, tick or tag there, and then you get a thing that you can glue down. Pain is real, but hope, uh, but so is hope. And you've got some Spanish cards. I believe that's Spanish. Got a encaustic tag with a key on it. And you've got two little pockets here. Some more printed paper, but it's on the Avery tag, so you can take this and peel it up and stick it on. You have um, like a banner, never lose hope. You've got a painted cupcake liner. You've got a cute little pocket. Some sprayed book pages. More painted strips of paper, some these are really pretty. We also have a paper border and it's very iridescent. You can see that. And a little sheet that says attitude is a little thing that I that makes a big difference by Winston Churchill. So I have a picture here. Place your hands here, count to ten, let the fairies take your worries away. Really cute. Another piece of notebook paper for your notes. And have a beautiful Picture here. Beautiful. I believe this is uh, either parchment paper or it might be rice paper. Then you have some printed paper from a uh, from a cards back. 
cute little bee in a honey pot. And I have a envelope. It's really cute. We have some plastic here, but it's really nice because you can use this as a pocket. We're pretty printed. Then I have a Christmas. It says, Starlight, Star Bright, please don't let me melt tonight. Then I have a Christmas one. It says, I play my drum for you. Power up a pump pum. And these are cards that I kind of ripped and uh, took the best part because I wanted to share with you guys because these were really, really cool. They're already matted. You can remat them if you want to. Take them apart. Use what you got. Got some kitties. Holiday wishes. So you got all kinds of stuff in here. You don't even have to use them all for this journal, but you you can you can try. I would like to see you. Uh, do something with all this goodies that I'm giving you. And then we have two more pieces of thicker uh, page paper. And that is all for the small little paper packs. Small embellishment pack. Pa small paper embellishment pack. Alright. There we go. Here's another one. These are more vintage, larger pieces here. Okay. This goes with the Pat O'Brien um, pieces. It's got, it's got their menu. Your, their alcoholic drinks. Their liquor prices. That was neat. And then you have a postcard. Let's see. Where's this from? Um, it's from doll, Dolls from Mabel B. Gurney Collection Game Lodge Dollhouse, Custer Park, South Dakota. And this one's called Off to Town. This one is a brochure for a train ride, Hill City Keystone, in the Black Hills of South Dakota, 1880 train. Oh, wow, that last run, August 31st. That's my birthday, guys. Wow. You get a train brochure. And this one is for the amphitheater. Really neat. The Last Supper. Oh my gosh, y'all should see how much the seats are in this place. Dollar fifty seats, dollar fifty seats, two dollar seats, two fifty, three dollar. <laughs> wow, if only seats were that cheap nowadays. But yeah, you get the, the amphitheater. And then this is for the Rockerville Mer Meller. Drama Summer Theater, Rockyville, Gold Town, South Dakota. Look at that. Look at those pictures. Old school. Look at those pictures, guys. I know you can do something with this. Look at that. General admissions. All right. Now this one is a uh, Hot Springs, South Dakota, world's largest Indian pageant. Crazy horse pageant. With the Indians. Alright, and you got this here. 1966 se season. The Common Glory. Williamsburg, Virginia. That's an 
another brochure. And this is a map. I'm not going to undo it, but this is a ma map of uh, Montana, I believe. It's just a small piece. Somebody's map their journey, guys. Philadelphia. Look at the old look at the old pieces on here. But you don't have those anymore. We don't have the Gulf gas stations anymore, so that's a piece of history. And this is an actual music bag. It's a uh, music treasures company, Richmond, Virginia. And this is a bag. And this is a full bag. Almost about the size of a record, I believe. You can put one in there. And it's got all kinds of music. You can just take this. If you needed music sheets, this would be the perfect. And plus, you can make all kinds of bags out of this. Hold it up. And then, I'm not even sure. Uh where this place is. It's a Harowina, Winua. It's a little traveler's guide. This tells you all kinds of things that goes on. Marketplaces. Beaches and all that. If you get all that. Foxton Historic Walk. For sure. You also get two more um, postcards. One is the Air Force Academy, Colorado. Uh, some of you military peoples would love this. And this is from the uh, Grand Canyon. Look how gorgeous that is. Anybody ever wanted to visit? Well, you can take this and visit all you want to. Okay, and then the Muscle Shell Valley welcomes you. It's a commercial club. It's Roundup, Montana. Look at that old picture there. Roundup bottling. Wow. Look at that. Automotive services, car dealers, beauty shops. Oh my gosh. Most of these don't even exist anymore. Restaurants, drive-ins, trailer parks, druggist. They don't call them pharmacists. They call them druggists. And then here's another uh, thing for Yellowstone. A little uh, little booklet on Yellowstone. It's for your safety. All kinds of goodies in here. Maps, Yellowstone National Park. Pictures, wildlife, the geysers, the hot springs. You get all kinds of stuff in this. See? Yellowstone, yes, National Park. But you get all of this in this little paper pack, vintage paper pack. All right, coming on down the line. All right, here's another paper pack. This is your main paper pack. Hopefully you got some sit through this when you're getting goodies. We're not done yet. All right, now this, a lot of this is old vintage recipes and things that you would find. Um, my favorite one is this right here. This is out of an old vintage schoolyard um, book that I have. It's old old games, all up relay race. I don't know if I have the that game in here, but I've also got some pages from that book. Um, let's see miscellaneous active games, cockstride, crossing the brook. Double relay races, first relay, cross tag, do this, do that, and then it's got a little picture of a uh, double relay races. And then drop the handkerchief, and then here's all the relays that you can do. 
But this is from a vintage 19... I'm not even sure. This was old. The pages just came right out. Um, not even sure what this is, but it's foreign language. Kind of ripped it out. But you can tea stain this. I'm not exactly sure, but it's foreign language. <laughs> I know everybody is about the foreign language one. Um, these came out of vintage books here. The Rock in the Sand. But it's got really, really, really nice book pages. They are aged perfectly. But you got to be careful. These will rip very easily. Um, this one is a, um, I believe, French. How to learn uh, to learn French. And you've got several pages of that. The grammar, how to how to say it and how to talk. You got that. Le mort et le billet. I think that's how it's saying. Le chat le nor. Yeah. This one is out of a very vintage, very vintage cookbook. The pages are almost yellow. Like a potato yellow or a brighter. This is a vintage hand typed cookbook pages. And vegetables and main dishes. I have an old uh, cookbook. We've got all, uh, quite a few of the cookbook recipe things in here. That way, if you all wanted to turn this into a cookbook, you could. And then you've got appetizers, beverages, and condiments. You've got several pages of that. And this wasn't a very oddly shaped page, so you could get quite a few things out of this. Another round of uh, vintage pages here. I tried to pick things that uh, you all would be interested in. And here's another one. Miss Fowler's old fruit cake, hot milk cake. You may heard of that? Fruit cake, jelly roll. There's all kinds. Lemon loaf. Lemon lime refrigerator cake. Oatmeal cake. Lemon cake. Oatmeal cake. Pumpkin cake, guys. Yum. That'd be come in handy for uh, the fall time. Spicy prune cake with pour on glaze. Mm hmm. Yep. And then you have some uh, vintage encyclopedia papers. They're very, very thin. Oops, needs to go up this way. I took them out. There we go. I even got the, the tab still on it. All right. That's the first. Oh. Then we have some more cookbook stuff. Kitchen tips. Even got real bright and shiny pictures there for you. have some encyclopedia papers for one of my old encyclopedias. We've got very vibrant pictures on them. And then this looks like some of that uh, paper that they used uh, to take blood pressure and I the old uh, paper they used to use, uh, Lafayette Instrument Company. It's, uh, it's um, like the heart monitor, old school heart monitor papers, I'm guessing. But you got a little bit of that. And you've got some of my very huge, my huge coffee filters. Look at that. That's huge. It's almost half the size of my arm. It's huge. So I had to fold them in half in order to get them in here. You've got two of those, so you can do some spraying. You can do some painting. You can do all kinds of stuff with that. This is an old TV guide, um, some old TV guide papers.
Look, Saturday morning. You probably see where all the Saturday morning cartoons were coming on. Beekman's Night, or Beekman's World. Huh. Barney and Friends. Ooh. Anne of Green Gables. Oh my gosh. The sequel. Tuesday Movies. Well, if you want to sit down, there's your movie night. And then there's that. I try to get them all, uh, all together. The TV Guide Yellow Pages. Quite a few of those, and there's some in here that are really, that are really cool. Some of the pictures. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oh, look at that. Back when they were starting to air it out on TV. And then I had to choose this one because look, that's one of my, one of my people's there. That's a Marilyn Monroe impersonator. All right, and then we have a printed piece here. Do not conform to pattern of this world, but the organi or, or the transformed, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans 12.2. And then we have a piece of real pretty, um, it's not, I don't know if it's vellum, but it's a real pretty gold shimmery piece of paper here. I'd share that with you. We have some of the famous painty papers. Very bright background. Okay, we have some of the painty paper. this is on real kind of a thicker paper it's not watercolor paper but it's a little bit thinner than that all right and then we have some of the uh, this was a 12 by 12 sheet all I did was cut it to fit into here so you get both pieces so here's the patterns you get okay you got that and that. Put that back in there. into that one. Now this one, this one you got to be careful with ladies and gentlemen. This one is a vintage newspaper or a section from a vintage newspaper. This was printed in March of 1979 and it is a full, it is a, oh, you can see that is old, the yellowing of that. But Western Kansas World, this is a reprint I believe of an old one. But this is a really cool, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You get eight sheets full of this newspaper old school newspaper from 1979 Western Kansas World 100th and 100th anniversary edition this is what you get you get a full newspaper look how little that printing is I'm gonna put this back in here before anything falls out this is very brittle so you have to be very careful with it All right, we are almost down to the bottom. You get, I believe, six pieces of chipboard. 
you know, my famous chipboard. Get, I believe, six pieces. No. Hang on a bit. I just put six. There's only four. Alright, so put two more in there. Get six pieces of eight and a half by eleven chipboard. And you get some of my famous coffee stain paper. This is where I thought, uh, this is where I had six. So you get that. And you've got some encyclopedia papers. Coffee stain for you. Makes them look very old. These are awesome, guys. So you get coffee stain paper. And I think last but not least, you get some uh, cardstock. This is very heavy cardstock. Very, very heavy. You can make tags with these. You can make ATCs with these. These are really, really awesome. It's a very, very thick cardstock, and it's white. Now, this right here is not white. It's sort of like a pinkish color, but I thought it would look really cool against all this other, all this other stuff. So you get one, two, three, four, five, and six pieces of that. And I believe one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of the very heavy uh, cardstock here. So, you have everything that you need to make a very different type of journal. You got a lot of vintage items for this, and so I'm going to stick this stuff right back in this box. Alright, that is the end of this box. So, ladies, the starting bid on this is $30. The starting bid is $30 on this box. You will have to pay shipping for this box. And I will give you a total once the uh, once you have won this box. Now I will turn off the commenting for this video once the item has been sold. I will contact you and let you know through this video that you have won the item. Please email me to confirm with my email address stated above. And we will get the ball rolling with you guys. So, the amount of hours will be this auction, this silent auction will end Friday. Friday at noon Eastern Standard Time. So you have until the stroke of noon on Friday to bid for this. If you see a bid that is higher, that need, that, that you bid, and uh, it's the same bid, you need to bid higher, or you will not receive that. The one before you will receive that box. All right? So, ladies and gentlemen, good luck, and I will see you when the auction is done. All right? Bye, guys.